here we are. What's going on with the with the you go to the store, the eggs say free range on it. Seems like a scam to me. <laughs> like I mean, it be because because I read free range and I picture old McDonald's farm and it's like a chicken in a hammock or something like that. Just living its best life and someone's that's feeding it, it and then, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and and the reality is like it, it free range is okay these chickens are allowed a 15 by 15 foot space that they may not actually ever see in their lifetime because they're at the other end of some huge airplane hangar basically with with a uh, thousand chickens between them and the outdoors so they don't even know that it's there probably both of those things are extreme but what what is what's up with free range is it anything well, so i mean the labeling on eggs is kind of a i don't know honestly how regulated it really is right and so if we think about most eggs if they don't say anything they're typically raised in what are called battery cages which are these tiny little cages maybe like I mean, the chicken can't really even turn around. They're they like they have almost no space. Then there's also cage free, free range, and so they're just kind of a variety. It's a spectrum of so even if it's free range, that doesn't usually mean they're going outside. Right. I mean, typically, anything that is raised for commercial purposes, they are completely enclosed in a house. It's a matter of okay, do they have a battery cage that they have no space? Do they have? There's some that have smaller cages that are. I'm trying to think what those are even labeled. That they're not, I mean, they're still cages, but they may be free range, but they're not. And so, and that's the thing is like a lot of the labeling is, it's, I don't know exactly even how regulated it is. Um, mm -hmm. And so if you can get free range and it's the same price, I mean, it's probably better than the battery cages, but is it worth twice the price? I don't know. That's, I mean, and that's one of the reasons that people are, are getting backyard poultry. Um, the other mm -hmm. label that honestly drives me insane is when it says vegetarian fed hens. So I, I don't know if you know anything about chickens, but they love bugs. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. They love bugs. Like they don't want to be vegetarians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of it. And there's been yeah, quite people, a bit of. People make their dogs vegan and stuff. That, that's yeah. fun. Like they're not. No. <laughs> that's not evolutionarily a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there's there's been actually a lot of back and forth over the years between the government and the poultry industry, like the commercial poultry industry, trying to come up with standards because you know, some states have requirements that they can't be in battery cages. Other ones allow it. And so it makes it difficult to sell across state lines because you've got to meet certain standards for one state, not another. And so there's kind of this back and forth about trying to come up with language that is consistent nationally for those commercial flocks. Yeah. I mean, the the world's the world's changing. There literally was when I was a kid, I grew up around literally like old McDonald ish type farms where you'd go and they'd have a few pigs and a chicken mm -hmm. coop and some cows and stuff. And that it doesn't exist anymore. It's, At least uh, it, not very often. Yeah. I actually, no. I just took a trip out West, a uh, road trip out West and uh, to get a, get out of town for a little bit and went past so many feedlots, like yeah. large cattle feedlots. And it's just, you know, it is, is that the best thing that we can do? Can we do better? <laughs> 